live a little early, but that's okay, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was putting it in the holder and I went live. So I didn't mean to. <laughs> so I guess we're just going to sit here and chat. Um, yeah, I'm still setting <laughs> the look on the phone and everything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just like a big hot mess lately. I did not mean to go live so early, and I apologize. <laughs> it was a complete accident. But for those of you who um, find me, hi, <laughs> Roxanne. Um, yeah, apparently I'm live, and I didn't mean to go live quite so quickly. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to show on the view. I think like that is fine. Maybe slightly more down. Okay. I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the thing about using a phone to go live. Like you don't push a button on your computer or something, right? And so I had to set it all up and then I went to put it in the holder and I hit go live. <laughs> But that's okay. We can talk because I know people aren't going to be here till eight. And um, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. When people get here, they're going to think, oh my gosh, I'm like so late. But no, you're not. You're early. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a craziness. <laughs> This kind of stuff only happens to me. Luckily, I'm only like, what? Like I was five minutes early, maybe. <laughs> uh, what do we want to talk about while we're waiting? Um, okay, I'll talk about a couple things. Um, Stampin' Up! challenged us in April to better our best. And those of you who are hobby demos know that. Um... And yeah, I am like really close to making the challenge and I have tried so hard. Um, so if anybody wants to place an order with me <laughs> to help me get to my goal, I would be super grateful. Um, I am going to do a card, card pack and I'll put it in the mail to you if you place um, an order of oh gosh 75 or more i guess and in addition to the card pack it'll be handmade cards by me um and i will put them in the mail to you also i will you will get my um tutorial bundle that i send out every month which i think the april one has 43 i gotta check yeah 43 projects and you also get my customer card for the month. I'm still catching up with March though because I literally just got home. So I will be sending Marches out any day now. So bear with me on that. I know, isn't it awesome, Joyce? I absolutely love it. Hey Clem, I'm early by accident. I hit the button. <laughs> When I was putting my phone into the holder, I hit the go live button. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> hey, mom. I was just telling everybody that by accident, I hit the go live button. And I am looking for helpers to help me reach my um, April sales goal. And I am offering a card pack of five of my handmade cards sent out in addition to the um, tutorial bundle that I sent out with a $50 purchase. And this month it has 43 PDFs. Um, I also send out um, a customer card every month. I know, Clem, it was a complete accident. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, 
<laughs> yes, I am totally in love with it too. together the cards so if you want to see how to put them together before you get you know before you try and put yours together you can finish watching it it is gorgeous right it is so pretty i hope there's refills i do have extra kits if anybody didn't get one and wants it um so just let me know and um, I would just send me an email or text me. joining us everybody say hi to Haley I'm a little early unfortunately I fat fingered the go live button five minutes before the live was actually supposed to go live <laughs> so I've literally been sitting here like talking to people and trying to come up with something to talk about until um the regular time but I think it's now eight o'clock so I will start talking about last chance products um, so last chance products are good until the 30th. So literally two weeks from today is the last day to get whatever's left, which, oh my gosh, stuff is going so fast. And the bundle that I'm using this week, the stamp set sold out, but the dies are still available. Hey, John, say hi to Haley. Um, I just want her to feel welcome. But yeah, so the lists are huge. And basically the best way to see what's still available is to go to inkyhandswarmhearts.com. You're going to click shop. And then under there, you're going to go to um, shop um, Stampin' Up! products. And then from there, you are going to get to my online store. And then you can place an order. But I'm hoping that I'll get a couple extra orders this month from people who don't normally order from me because I'm really, really close to that sales goal. And I'll explain that when I get to that part. But this is a really great time to get a last, a couple last minute things of things that are going away forever. In fact, two of the die sets are still available last time I checked. And they are amazing. If you don't own them, you absolutely need them. But these are the two books that are going away. So if you had something in one of these two books that you have not purchased and you want to help me out, help me reach my April sales goal, get five cards made by me and that you can reuse. I mean, they're not written in or anything. And a 43 um, tutorial bundle, PDF bundle, and my customer card for the month of April, then you, you can place a $75 order or more. It, with a $50 order, you still get the tutorial bundle and the customer card. With any size order, you still get a handmade customer card um, from me. So any size order will help me get to that goal. Um, so as a demonstrator, we get this pink paper if we make the goal and we get to have a virtual stamp night. And I really, really wanna go and I really, really want that paper. So I'm like literally so close. So what they told us to do was to take the amount we needed to sell because we have to better our best by $1. So we had to take the amount that we needed to sell. We had to divide it by five and then we get to color one flower for every time we sell that dollar amount. So I have four flowers, not quite a third of this flower but I am like so close. I never thought I would get there. 
but I am so close. <laughs> it depends on how much you need to order, Clem. <laughs> But anyway, look at that visual. Like, I'm so close to filling this little um, flower up. But anyway, that's enough talk about that. I'm not going to beg. But yeah, kind of, sort of am. <laughs> so this is the um, preview of the tutorial bundle for April. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to try and make it smaller because it's easier to see if I bring it up there. Okay, so those are the tutorials in the 43 tutorial bundle that you'll receive for free with a $50 purchase from my store, from my um, online Stampin' Up! store. So check it out. And if you're, if you want to help me get to that number, I would be so, so grateful. But there's some really cute um, projects. All right. So that's that. I also have my fun fold um pdf that is available if you guys want it it's last month's um design team my creativity abounds design team that i'm a part of um tutorial and just remind me i know a couple people told me they wanted it but i haven't gotten back to you because i've had like chaos since i got back from convention I am thinking of doing an in color club. I did one last year. People really enjoyed it, but I'm not sure if people are interested in an in color club this year. So if you are interested in an in color club, just type in the chat in color club, and then I will contact you and we will try and figure out how to get you guys going. I think I'm going to do it via newsletter. So if you are um, subscribed to my newsletter, that's how I'll send out the information for the club. Um, you will have, I guess I'm going to figure it out by this weekend, how much it's going to cost. And I will probably send out a newsletter this weekend. And then you'll have until the 30th to pay for it. And then we will um, pull the plug and I will order on May 1st so that you guys get um, your first set of colors and hopefully everything will stay in stock and all that great stuff last year I did a little finagling it worked out fine though um, but our new in colors are absolutely beautiful and I would love to have you as part of the in color club hey Lou thanks for joining us I don't know if I said hi Cheryl but hi and hey Malada. And hey, Lou. Okay. So to, I keep call, saying tomorrow. I don't know. It's like I want the card fiesta to be tomorrow, but it's not. It's Saturday. <laughs> it's like, let's have a card fiesta tomorrow too, because I just want it to be tomorrow. So um, every other Saturday from 1230 to 330 for local people, um, I have a card fiesta. It's a class. It's like a shoebox swap style. And um, it's a $5 class fee. And then you pay um, by the card for however many cards you want to make during the three hour time frame. And then we also eat Mexican food. It's so much fun. And the restaurant is so kind and nice to us. They even give us a discount on our food. So if you're interested, um, let me know. I would love to have you come on Saturday if you are local to the Virginia Beach, Williamsburg, Newport News, Hampton, uh, Franklin, Suffolk, Chesapeake. Did I forget any towns? Norfolk area. <laughs> I had to think. Okay, um, let's talk about today's paper pumpkin. How cute was that? I did an unboxing video for the butterfly. I don't know if I kept my paper. I don't know if I did. Let's see. Oh, for this one, which I just got today in the mail. And oh my God, it's gorgeous. But now we have a new one for next month, and it's going to be a masculine um, theme, which I'm really excited about. We always need masculine cards. It looks kind of like wood grained. I love these trees. 
this looks really, really cool. So I'm quite excited about this proposition of this masculine paper pumpkin. So again, if you've missed the dies, I have those here, a picture. So the dies are an add-on, they're $12. You can get um, two butterflies, an opened butterfly and then a detailed one, and they fit um, within each other, like you can glue them on top of each other. And then there's this really cool label, and then the thanks from the June. So you get those four dies for $12. You have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to get them. I wish you lived closer to Joyce. All right, Inky Hands Crew membership. If you're not a member of my membership crew, you are missing out big time. We have so much fun together. This week we're working on a sketch challenge. And then I send out giveaways in the mail to the members. Um, I send out birthday cards. I think we're going to do a mystery stamping at some point, maybe right when the new catalog comes out. That would be really fun. Um, I really want to do a mystery catalog. I'm not catalog. Mystery card live in our um, Facebook group for the Inky Hands crew. So that would be super fun if you have never joined. I would love to have you um, participate. Maybe we'll do it on Face, maybe we'll do it on YouTube and we can maybe get new people to join us because that would be super fun as well. All right, let me think. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up guys if you're in here. Sometimes when I watch a video, I forget to hit the thumbs up. So if you forgot, don't forget, Push that thumbs up for me. I appreciate it if you do that. Um, the way the Inky Hands crew membership works is you get two video tutorials a week with detailed photos and measurements for two projects that nobody else gets with the bundle or stamp set and dies of the week that I'm using. And so you will get, um, if it's a five Friday month, then you'll get 10 and if it's a four Friday month you'll get eight um different projects and I usually go above and beyond for my crew so try it for a month see if you like it and I would love to have you join I actually would love to have people join anytime um between now and the last week of the month I kind of have a gap in my membership because the way that it works is like on the day that you sign up is the day that it renews and there's like a window of time where there's like no renewals. So I'm like trying to see if I can get anybody to join during that time frame because it would just be so fun to be able to have people every day, right, um, with that join. So the new catalog is coming. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to open it in front of you guys. We're going to have to have a party, some kind of annual catalog party on YouTube because it's going to be so fun. Absolutely, Sherry, the mystery stamping would be awesome. Did Rita join us? I don't know if Rita's here. If she's here and I missed her, sorry. I don't know if Rita is here. Oh yeah, even Moyoc, North Carolina, I forgot about that. Lou comes from Moyoc to my, um, my class. That's correct. But, oh yeah, the annual catalog is amazing. Amazing. So you got to check it out and see all the fun stuff in there. Don't forget that at the beginning of March, we had some brand new product hit our store. Online exclusives. They're pretty awesome. I'm going to be probably using them next week because I'm running out of free, free, not free, of products to use that are not leaving the list of last chance. So I probably will work on, maybe I'll do some online exclusive projects. That's a really great idea. 
ding, ding, ding. My brain does work sometimes. Um, the Zinnia stamp set is amazing. The Encircled in Nature bundle is fantastic. Um, I also have the little coffee set. So that's that. Okay, don't if you missed the Easter paper piecing patterns that I put in my store for purchase, um, you can purchase those. They're available for this year's Easter projects that have paper piecing in them. And of course I had one last year and then Halloween I had last year and I haven't made one for this year's Halloween. I don't think I had anything Halloween for 20, oh, 2024 Halloween hasn't happened, duh. <laughs> 2023 Halloween was the last one. So of course I have one for that. And then I have one from the previous year, which was the first year that I started doing the paper piecing patterns for Halloween. And um, this one's really cute too. So if you've missed those, you can go to my website and go under shop. And then there's a section that says um, PDFs and it's under there. Um, kit collection, we have two new kits. We have the By Your Side kit, which, oh my gosh, is completely adorable. I did show it in my... Um, new catalog unboxing video. So if you missed that, I did show this because I bought this one and I don't think I showed this one, but I do own it. Um, it was one of the things they gave us at convention um, for a freebie. So there's some really, really cute, um, yeah, some cute kits out there. And of course the annual catalog, which I would love to open for you right now, but I'm not allowed, but it is, awesome and I hope that you guys um, will enjoy it as they start showing up on your door for those customers of mine and I have mailed those out to you guys. Okay, that's enough announcements I think. Let's get stamping. So I'm using the little dreamers and like I said, unfortunately the stamp set sold out but it's already something that I'm doing so we're just gonna roll with it. Um, the dies are still available. But these two dies right here, which are a staple, I mean, I use them over and over and over again. Um, the basic borders and the scallop contours, they're both going away. And let me tell you, when these rectangles go away, you're going to be sad if you don't have them. So definitely, definitely, definitely get you some scallop contour dies for 100%. And these are also awesome. Also, I think Give It A Whirl is still available. There are so many that are still available. So I'm going to pull out this die from the Little Dreamers, this little um, star, this little star here, because I'm going to use that. Everything else I've die cut out. I just didn't want to cut those stars and then risk losing any of them. So we're going to cut that in the middle of our video here today. All right, so let me just pull these to the side. All right, I think I'm good now. Hopefully nothing will fall down and everything will behave itself. All right, so let me show you the cute little box. So I have a baby box today. The, um, I'm using the little lion and it says congratulations on your new little one. This would fit a couple pair of baby socks. You could put um, a bib, a rattle, so many cute things in this box and it is adorable. So as you can see on the two sides and the front, I did clouds, pretty cool. And the back is plain, but I decorated also the top. Thanks Clem. And this is such a great little set. So see all these little yellow stars? That's what this cuts out. <laughs> See all these little yellow stars on the sides? Yeah, that's what that die cuts out. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be using lot, li lots of itsy bitsy teeny pieces. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you how to make this cool box. So we're gonna start with a piece of um, cardstock. And it measures 10 and a half by seven and a quarter inches. And of course, what is the first thing 
that comes out every time. I know you know. Someone tell me. <laughs> the Simply Scoreboard. Literally my best friend in crafting. That, my take your pick tool, paper snips, bone folder, multi-purpose glue. I could not do without them. So we are going to score on the long side first. All right. And we are going to score at one and three quarters. Thank you, Lou. We're going to score at four and three eighths. I'm going to do it twice because I would like to make sure it's nice and deep. Six and one eighth. and eight and three quarters. All right, so then we're gonna rotate it to the short side, the seven and a quarter inch at the top. Absolutely, this box is not just for babies. You could put a cute little perfume bottle in here. Oh my gosh, it could hold so many things. Literally, it's the cutest size. Let me, let me get you a measurement. How, what kind of size it is of what you could put inside. Great idea, Sherry. Let me find my ruler. I can't grab it. Oh my gosh, it wouldn't let me. Okay, so we're a little bit under four inches and a little bit under three inches and then it is not quite two inches tall. But it is a great box and it only needs one sheet of cardstock, which is amazing. I love making boxes that only take one sheet. Okay, so then on the short side, we're gonna score at one and five eighths, which is five ticks past the one. So don't let the five eighths scare you. So one, and then we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five. That's one and five eighths. And again, I'm gonna do it twice. And then um, five and five eighths. I just want to make sure it's correct. Let's see. One. I think so. I think we're good. I always pray that I'm accurate because let me tell you, I don't, I don't need mom to have another funny video of me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that carrot video. I don't think I'll ever forget it for the rest of my life. For those of you who are here, you feel my pain. <laughs> but you guys were so kind. Oh my gosh. That's when I knew you guys were truly my tribe. <laughs> All right. So we are, um, scoring on all the lines and then I'm going to walk you through step by step which is what I like to do because I think for me it helps me and I think it will help you that's so cute great idea Sherry all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut these two squares off, or you can cut these two. There, It's a symmetrical box. So when you very first start, it doesn't matter if you start on this side or this side, it's even, okay? So I'm gonna start on this side, and I'm basically going to cut this square off and this square off right here, okay? So I'm gonna cut here. And I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay. And then we're going to get rid of this one. And this is the front fold in part of my box. See, it folds in like that. Okay. This is the two side panels of my box. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to angle cut right there and angle cut right here and then I'm going to cut straight down this line 
okay. I'm gonna rotate to the other side, do the same thing. Angle cut or miter. And then do the same thing here. And then cut down this line. All right, so now these are the parts of the box that tuck inside, okay? And these are the sides that tuck inside. That's why they're mitered and they fit in a lot easier. So I'm also going to miter this slightly. Okay. And I think I'm going to take off about a quarter of an inch straight across. You could bring your um you could bring your paper trimmer out if you want, but I'm going to eyeball it and I went a little crooked, but that's okay. No one's going to know. They're going to be so happy you made them this box. They're not even going to think about it. Okay, so I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch here. I'm going to flip it this way because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch on this side. All right, I'm quite happy with all of that. So far, the only thing I'm keeping is this because, look, I could die cut, like, something really cute out of that. But the rest I'm throwing away. Okay, so, so far we have the hinge sections that fold into the box. So now we're gonna cut the sides of our box and the front and the bottom and all that good stuff. So on these lines, as we're working our way down, I'm gonna cut that score line out of the way on each of these pieces. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I'm gonna get rid of this one because I don't like bulk when I fold my, my box or my even my cards, I don't really like bulk. So, I will get rid of those right there. Then right here and right here. I'm gonna do the same thing to the last one and then we're all done and I'm gonna put it down so you guys can grab a, grab a screenshot if you need it. Okay, so let me put all of this out of the way and I'm gonna put my box down. That's what it's gonna look like when you're done cutting all these itty bitty pieces, okay? And these two pieces away. Hopefully you got your screenshot. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Lee, thanks you made it. Thanks for making it, I mean. That's okay that you guys are late, it doesn't matter. I really just got started. I've been talking like I normally do at the beginning. So if you want to see here the announcements, then you can watch the replay. All right, so now that we have that, I'm gonna show you how it comes together. So this is the bottom, this big panel. This is the top, okay? This is the sides of the box, and then these pieces here get tucked in like this like this and then there is your box and then to close your box you're going to tuck these pieces in and this flap and then there is your little box okay well not all the way down like that it'll hold once it's glued together nice and tight so that's that part okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to glue so we're gonna take, forget about this top section with the big wide and these flaps. This and this, we're gonna glue first onto this piece here. So let's go ahead and put some glue on this one. Let me get my um, wet glue. So I'm gonna put some here. And we are going to slide that in and, all right. I'm gonna actually cross to the other side and do this one. We'll do the two back ones first. So we're gonna bring that in and bring this to meet it. On to the next part. We're gonna put glue on these. Okay. 
Perfectly finished. Okay, so now I'm going to tuck these pieces in to my box. Come on now. And there is our box. Okay, this is like so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the next thing that you need is you need two scallop shapes from the scallop contour die. And this one is the second one in from the largest. So see, it's a pretty decent box size, okay? So you have two of those. And I forgot to tell you that the color I'm using is boho blue, okay? This is pretty cool, right? I'm very excited. So on one of these, it's gonna be the top of our box and I'm gonna add this little piece of countryside in DSP and it's the one that has the teeny little flowers and the fox is on the back side. All right. Me too, Joyce. I love boxes that only take one sheet of cardstock. Love it so much. Okay, so we're going to cover up the little foxes, unfortunately, even though they're super cute. I want that small floral print. And we're going to add this onto one of these little scallop pieces. And I love the wiggle room that I get with this fantastic glue, which is why I love it so much. And I can't do without it, right? All right. So that's going to be the top. I want that to stick. And then this is going to be the bottom of our box. Okay. So let's work on our sentiment. We're going to cut out some little stars we're gonna color our little um lion guy and then i have already cut the clouds so i'm gonna show you what i did so i used three pieces of basic white cardstock just regular basic white and this cloud die from the basic border so i'm gonna find it right there and so I had two pieces of basic white that were two and three quarters by one and a half. And I had one piece that was four inches by one and a half. And there is where I cut that out, okay? So once I had those pieces, I just ran them through the die cut machine. I laid it down. I put one of my little um, flags on there and cranked it through. absolutely i would cry about misty moonlight i was so excited when misty moonlight came back um because i was so sad when it went away when it was um an in color all right so now you know how i did the clouds so let's glue the clouds onto our box next okay so we're gonna start with this one and we're gonna lay our little cloud down like so. And so I'll color that little dude in a minute. Let's put the clouds and get all the glue pieces like on and trying to adhere while we do the other things, right? Because with my luck, I would put these on last minute and then I would hold the box and then they'd shift or something crazy because I always get myself into trouble. All right, so we're gonna add this piece right here. Now we're gonna do the two sides. This is so fun, I love it. Okay, now this one, look, it's a little tall. I think I'm gonna do this one. So we'll trim it after we glue it, but just make sure, I wanna make sure, yeah, I'm gonna do that one there. Okay, so, I'm gonna, there's gonna be a little overhang, so I'm not gonna get too crazy with the glue on the end. What I'm gonna do 
is leave a little bit because it's going to hang out. Because I'm just estimating the sizes as best I can. The front one fit perfect. All right, so see how I have a little piece sticking out, which is why I left that no glue on that end there, but I wanna push the glue to that edge as best I can. All right, and then on this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I should have, oh look, I already got glue on here. My goodness, I'm like a mess with the glue. Thank God for my adhesive um, eraser. I don't know what I would do without it because I'm such a hot mess with getting um, making glue messy everywhere. Okay, so this one's gonna go like this. So yeah, the same amount. We're just gonna leave it on the opposite side like this. So cute. I think the clouds on the side totally make this box. What do you guys think? Hi, Milani. Thanks for joining us. All right, so now I'm gonna let this set for a few seconds here. And then I'm gonna trim this one because this one should be good. So I'm just gonna trim this right up against that box, which is why I didn't put my scallop base and top on yet because I wanted to have these sides on. And then I'm gonna turn this one and go ahead and cut um, this one as well. All right, so there's my extra pieces. All right. Why does that keep falling into my box? There we go. All right, so now that we have that attached, we're gonna go ahead and attach our base next and then our, now I never know what to do, but I always end up flipping the die over because the only thing that's gonna show really is the scallops. But if you turn the box over, I like having the right, side. You know how there's a right and a wrong to every die cut? I like having the right side facing up even though it's the bottom of the box. So if the box gets turned over, I want it to look as finished as the front. And I think that if I put this unfinished side at the bottom, it wouldn't look as nice. So I'm going to put the glue. Hopefully you guys can see and it'll zoom in. Maybe I'm moving too much. There we go. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the unfinished side up, okay? And I'm going to put glue on the bottom of my box. And first, before I do that, I am going to um, just put my box in here and make sure that it fits nicely, and it does. I just want to get an idea of how much is gonna show and all that good stuff, okay? So there's my glue on the bottom. And then I'm just going to add that to my piece. And it just fits into those little lines. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the top of my box. Come on, there we go. So I'm gonna put glue on the top. Don't go in though, I don't want you to go in. Why does it keep going in? Hopefully once I have the edge on, it will stop doing that. I think I cut too wide on one side or something. I'm not sure exactly what I did, but hopefully it will once I have my top on there, it should be fine. I just need to make sure that I get glue all the way to the edge here. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna flip this over and then I'm gonna add my box to it and make sure that it's even. And then I'm gonna pull it out because it keeps falling back. I don't know why and I'm gonna make sure that it's evenly placed on there because I don't want a crooked lid. There we go, okay. Yeah, 
when you do it, make sure your flaps are out so that you can get it nice and straight, which I did. I just got a little bit of glue on my finger and then put it on this flap. So I'm just gonna erase that quickly. I'm good at getting glue on things, I'll tell you that. All right, so now that I have the lid on, it shouldn't fall in anymore because it has this edge, okay? So we're gonna put that inside. See, the edge holds it in place. All right, so now we have our cute little box ready to go. Doesn't it look kind of like, I don't know, like an ice cream sandwich with a lot of ice cream in the middle? I can't wait to hear about it either. She's coming on Saturday with, so we're, we all get the scoop. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp with Misty Moonlight. So pretty. And our congrats on your new little one. I gotta make sure that it's nice and inked up. All right, now I'm just gonna put it in the center, but I'm gonna make sure I don't have glue on here because I'm really good about that, let me tell you, The best. All right, so we're gonna add this right in the center of this piece of boho blue. Congratulations on your new little one. Didn't you just come from eating, Lou? I haven't even eaten dinner yet. <laughs> I'm teasing you. Okay, so now we're gonna color our little, our cute little lion. I'm gonna leave that to the side for right now. I'm gonna move my glue, move all this stuff out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna use um, Lemon Lolly Light and Boho Blue light those are the two colors that we're using okay i'm going to start with lemon lolly and i'm going to do the mane on the lion and i'm here to tell you that you don't have to use light and dark of every color every time and i will explain when i'm all done here and you'll understand <clears throat> that you can just use one color, you can still get shading, okay? So I'm gonna do his mane, I'm gonna do his tummy. I'm gonna do the fur on his tail and his little star. And I like to go around the edges and then fill in now, I'm gonna talk to you about what I mean about you could just use one blend color. <clears throat> so after you color everything, if you wanna get a little bit of shading, all you need to do is just go over the top and put some pressure down when you're doing it, okay? So I'm gonna do a little there and I'm gonna do at the bottom of this mane and then I'm gonna do just around this outer portion of his belly. And then on the star, I'm gonna come from the top down. I'm gonna color that point. I'm gonna color this point and I'm gonna color like kind of half the star a little darker than the rest. And when it dries, you're gonna be able to see the contrast. See in the belly there, you can see it lighter and darker. So you don't have to always use the light and the dark. You can shade with just one color. I'm gonna do the same thing with the light boho blue. So I'm just gonna outline first so I don't make a mess of my cute lion. So his little face. His little paw holding his balloon. 
his other little arm out to the side. I'm going to do his little tail. <clears throat> going to continue down the right side here and join around the belly here. His little foot. His underbelly and his other side here and his little foot. All right, so I'm filling that in. Okay, now I want to add some shading. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to fill in like his inner ear area. And then I'm going to come around this left side here and around his face like that. Okay. And then I'm also going to do under this arm. And then I'm going to shade down this left side of him. I'm trying to create like a shadow over here. And then under here and under here like that and you're going to be able to tell that he is shaded even though i only used one color of boho blue and so if you look at my little lion see how you can tell that the blue is shaded so you can shade with one color you don't have to always use light and dark of the colors all right, so he's ready. This is kind of ready. Let's die cut out our stars. So I have my mini machine. <clears throat> We're gonna put our plates on. One and two. you forgot you ate you're so cute <laughs> all right so let's put the little machine away okay I think that's the only one so see you can either use this piece and cut stars into the background of a card and then have something behind it I'm not gonna do that I am going to take my little die and I'm going to scrape all of those little stars onto my with the die itself. Move them out of the way. Okay. So there they are. All these little stars. And then I'm going to put the die away before I lose it and forget what set it came out of because trust me, it could happen. All right. So now we're going to decorate our cute little piece. So in order to do that, I need to fix my congratulations. And I'm going to use my mini paper trimmer, my little guillotine. I want to take this down a little bit. I don't want it to be quite so wide. About three quarters of an inch is what I want to take it down to. I'm just going to hold it even. So I have that. Now I just have to do the angle cutting, which I've done here and here. Okay. So the first angle cut I'm going to do on my trimmer. Okay. So I'm just going to cut at a slight angle. And if you ever wonder how to get an even angle cut... What you do is you take the same one that just came off and then you're gonna bring it to the other side. And then you can either hold it and cut it with your scissor or you can trim it with your trimmer. But I'm gonna cut it with my scissor so that I can show you that they're even, even if you don't use the same. And then you get the same um, angle and I just want to double check that it's straight because sometimes with the scissor right we have like a hair but I'm good I think all right so there is our oh, I did get a little hair off look that tiny hair all right so now we have all our parts and pieces I have two clouds which by the way that's also in the die set 
So you have this cloud, this cloud, and the moon. So cute. There's the little stars. All right. So we're gonna get our multi-purpose glue. We're gonna get some dimensionals. I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna have to open some new dimensionals. I'm gonna put four of these on the middle, down the middle of this. I'm gonna put one here, one here, have that one. Let's put one on the star. Let's open some more. I'll use the edges another time. I'm not in the mood today for edges. <laughs> All right. So let's get some more of our dimensionals. I definitely get my money's worth of these. I use them like crazy. And I use all parts and pieces of them. Okay, so let's put a few minis on this tiny cloud. Probably four, even though I don't need it. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right. And then I'm gonna do one on this little arm right here. One on this little foot right here. And one on this little foot right here. And then one here just for good measure, just because I can. <laughs> All right. So that should be enough, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Oh no, I need one more on here. Look at me being frugal <laughs> with the dimensionals. Okay, so let's add the lion first. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew. I'm hungry too. All right, so we're gonna get that. Off. first the big ones then I'll get the babies all right so we're gonna add our cute little oh my gosh he's so cute look how cute he is and we're gonna add him kind of right there on the edge of our box area so cute okay so now I'm gonna figure out how I want these and where I want them. So hopefully the backs won't come off yet. Maybe like that and like that. And then we wanna make sure that these fit down the center. So, okay, I'm gonna bring that up a smidge. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit like that. We're gonna work on this one first. And I'm gonna tuck it underneath that um, sentiment. So we're gonna just tuck it like that. Oh, not so wonky, just slightly, maybe like that. All right, that's good. All right, then we're gonna leave the th congratulations on there, okay? And we're gonna put the baby cloud next. All right, and we need to have that like that-ish. And then we're gonna stick this one underneath there. All right, and now I can pull the box off of this one and it will fit exactly where I want it to be. And then last but not least, we're gonna add the best part of the whole thing. Oh my gosh, I got a little bit of glue on my finger. Okay, I mean, not on my finger, off of my finger onto my piece. All right, we're good now. We're gonna add congratulations on your new little one right there now look at the difference those stars make don't they make such a big difference huge difference so we need them okay so we're gonna start and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them up onto here and I'm going to try and turn them all backwards. But, you know, it may not happen. Some of these are pretty little and 
my vision isn't like 2020, so we'll do our best. But I want to flip them to the wrong side of um, the die, if that makes sense. Because I'm going to put the glue on them, right? And I don't want to put the glue on the right side. And some of these are teeny weeny. All right, there's that one. That one. All right, here we go. So let me show you how, woo, look at me flinging glue. I told you I'm like crazy. I don't know how I don't make more of a mess. You guys think I'm not messy, but I'm super messy. Okay, so I'm going to put three dots down here. One, two, three. Okay, and I'm going to get my tweezer. And I'm going to put one. A little small one. Two. And an itty bitty teeny tiny one. On this tiny speck of glue that I put here. Yeah, there's actually glue there, believe it or not. All right. So those are the three at the bottom. We're gonna put five at the top. So I'm gonna put one over here, and then one over here, one over here, one a little bit down, and then one maybe like that. All right, let's put some of these on. So there's one, a little small one, An itty bitty teeny tiny one. I don't know what Stampin' Up! thought, but I guess they thought we could make it happen, and they were right, because I did. All right, and we're going to add this one here, and then we need a larger one. I've got to find one, this one, right here. All right, so our top has them. Now let's turn our box. We're going to do this five right here. So we're going to put one, two, three four, and five. All right, so we'll get a big one right here, small one. A medium one. Oh, I picked up two of them, a baby. Let's put this, I don't know if I can get it, let's see. There we go. I can't figure out which is the right side now. Oh my lord. There we go. This is the right side. One of the babies right here. Try not to push too hard. And another itty bitty right here. Come on. That one wants to stick to my... I'll tell you what. The things I do for you guys. I'm only kidding. <laughs> The things I do for my own crazy self that has to have these little stars on here. All right, but it does make the whole project literally like it makes it so much better. All right, we're turning to this side. Three, one, two, three. All right, let's see, we got this one, this one. And let's put a teeny weeny one. Oh Lord, that one came up on my finger, I think. Come on, listen to me, stay on the box. All right. And then the last side. Oh look, I have an extra one. Yay, cause I didn't want to have eight on the front. I must've lost one for the first time. And here. So let's put one in the middle, a teeny one. Oh my gosh, that one even moved. My hands must just be gluey because why else is that happening? All right, let's put the teeniest one right here. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna put one more on the front. Let's see, I'm gonna put it, oh my gosh, I think over here by the, Right there. 
I didn't have an extra one last time. I must have lost one in, in travel from the die cut machine to the table. But oh my gosh, how cute is this box? I think it's precious. <laughs> well, I have to make it perfect. I've gone through so much trouble to make the box in the first place. I want it to be really fancy and pretty. So yeah, I mean, I do go a little above and beyond. I'm not going to lie. I do have those tendencies, but I think it's a good thing. And you can always pull out your handy dandy magnifying glass if you need to. Okay, so what did we use again today for these projects? We used Little Dreamers, the Little Dreamers dies, scallop contour dies, and um, oh my gosh, what is this called? Basic Borders. I couldn't think for a second. And then don't forget, guys, if you will place a $75 order with me um, before the end of the month, I'll send you five cards handmade by me, my um, PDF tutorial of 43 card and other projects and my customer card for the month. I would really appreciate the help. If you wouldn't mind, I would love that so, so much. And if you're interested in... Um, if you're interested in the In Color Club, don't forget to put In Color Club in the chat and I will send you that information. I know, Kimberly, like that's what's crazy. I have no idea where that other little, <gasps> I think I found it. Let me see if this is it. This might just be a little scrap from something else. No, it wasn't. I thought I found it, but it was just another little piece that falls out from the die cuts. But anyway, it's okay. This one, no one will know that one has an extra star than the other. <laughs> All right, guys. Does anybody have any questions for me before I let you go? I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time for my next live. And if you are a member of the Inky Hands crew, you will get two more videos on Friday. If you're not a member, join if you want two additional projects with this awesome stamp set. All right, guys, um, if you missed anything or you want to catch the announcements, the video should be posted on my website at inkyhandswarmhearts.com. And I appreciate everybody who watched. Don't forget to click that thumbs up for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Um, and I will see you soon. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!